What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this Beautiful Destinations title sweep effect. I've made this title preset available down below if you want to go check that out. But if not, let's get into this and create it ourselves. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the titles tab. I'm going to search for the basic title. This one right here, I'm just going to drag that into my timeline. Let's just make it around five seconds for now. And then I'm going to go up here to the text box and let's type in our title. And I'm going to go to the font and choose Bebas Now, I think it's called. Bebas New, this one right here. I'm pretty sure this is the font uh, that they're using. And I'm going to make the tracking a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to highlight the A and turn this to light. And then highlight the title portion and put that to light as well. So it's pretty similar to the original. And if you don't have this font, then you can get it for free off of um, defont.com. I'll try to leave a link down below if I can find it. Okay, so now we have our title in there. We need to add these two lines that wipe the title on and off. So let's see if I can. So these bits here. And to get these, I actually made these in Photoshop just with a paintbrush and just made a little squiggle. And then I exported that as a PNG file. So this is my PNG file, which I've imported into Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to drag this and put it on top of my title right there. And then click the transform tool and just move it to where it's going to start off. And now we have to keyframe it. So what I'm going to do is go to the beginning of my little title sequence here. Uh, make sure I've clicked the transform tool, click the keyframe button and then I'm going to skip five frames and these will be the five frames that will kind of let the lines kind of fade on or write on. So I just moved five frames. I'm going to hit the keyframe button again and then I'm going to move another five frames across my timeline. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, now I've messed all the keyframes up but that's okay because we can right click on our graphic right here and go to show video animation and this will bring up all of the keyframes that we've made so there's the first ones and then I'm going to skip another five one two three four five drag my graphics all the way along for the wipe effect and then skip another five frames and hit the keyframe button so now we just have it basically holding for a little bit and wiping across the title. And now kind of move along towards near the end where you're gonna add the final keyframes for it to go swipe back over the title. So move along, click this transform tool, click the keyframe button, move along five frames, one, two, three, four, five, and we want it to stay in place. So we're gonna hit the keyframe button again, and then move along five frames, one, two, three, four, five and just drag this all the way back over for the last like animation bit. And then one, two, three, four, five. We can just add another one because we want it to finish there. Cool, so now we have it swiping across and then at the end of this title, swiping back. So the next step is we need to make this right on the screen. It sort of writes on to the screen a little bit and then starts swiping across. To get that right on effect, we need to use the mask tool so select your graphic and then go over here to the effects tab and just go down to masks and we're going to use a draw mask tool so just drag that onto your graphics and we want to go right back to the start because we want it to write on at the start so what i'm going to do is just draw kind of like a big box around this kind of like that go to transform and you, you don't want to be able to see the graphics at this point. So that's kind of, that's how I want it to be. And then I'm just going to hit the keyframe button for position, rotation and scale and control points, making sure that we're still at the start of the uh, animation. And then I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, and just drag these down to the bottom. Then I'm going to go back a couple of frames and just sort of make it so one of these lines comes down first. 
so kind of like that and then if you watch that back it's super quick but one of the lines writes on first like that you, you can sort of play with it and do whatever you want and I'm just going to turn the feather down a little bit cool okay and then we want to mask the title off when it gets to the other side so right about there we want it to start masking off I'm going to go over here and click the position rotation scale and control points keyframe move along to the last keyframe right here I'm just lining it up with how we positioned it before and then just mask it away again basically so disappears like that so now we have it come on and then it goes off like that cool okay so let's now go to the end animation and add some more keyframes so I'm on this keyframe here I'm going to go up to the mask add a position keyframe rotation scale and control points move along a few frames until it starts moving a little bit and just bring this down so that the graphics appears again kind of like that cool and then move along let's start writing the graphics off here so let's add a keyframe to all of these and then go to the end and just get rid of these again okay so there we have the basic sort of animation done and now what we have to do is add a mask to the title so that when this graphic wipes across it looks as if it wipes the title on so let's go to the beginning here click on the title layer go to shape mask just double click that because that will apply the shape mask to this title layer and then you just want to drag it to the side until these red lines line up with your graphics go up here to the video effects tab and we're just going to hit a keyframe on the transform position rotation scale and oh control points we can't click that because it's a shape mask and then just move along using your arrow key move along the timeline and just track these red lines to your graphics right here So I'm just skipping a frame and moving this shape mask so that it reveals the uh, title. Done. Okay, and now we go to the end and just let's add another keyframe. Skip forward a couple of frames at a time and just track this mask to the graphics right here. And then you can see the title disappearing as you, as you go along. So you'll know if you've done it correctly, I guess. So just like that, and then it's gone again. So cool, that is successfully masked out right there. Okay, and there are a few more things you can do to make it a little bit better. I noticed that in the Beautiful Destinations title, the graphics sort of grow as they move along. So what you can do is kind of go back to your keyframes Go back to the very first one and just turn down the scale on your graphics so that it grows as it sort of goes along. You can even add, add a keyframe in the middle so that it gets a bit bigger like that and then it will go back down and on these ones you can add a keyframe where it gets smaller again. The last little step that I like to do is turn this into a compound clip and um, add a speed ramp so let's select both of these and turn them into a compound clip so I've selected them right click uh, new compound clip and then you can just cut out the middle of your titles to make it the correct length so I'm just going to press B cut it there and cut it about there because I only want it short so I'm just going to delete this middle part oh bit too short okay let's okay and the very last step to this is I'm going to add some motion blur so if we go up here to titles 
and go to motion blur. You can download this plugin for free from my selfie store. I'll leave the link down below. Okay, so let's have a look at the finished product of that. And yeah, that turned out pretty cool. I'll leave all of the links down below that you need to make this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.